Hi guys, this is strumming pattern number two in my strumming guitar course and this is the easiest, more complex strumming pattern, so the first more complex strumming pattern to try after going four, four, on, four down strums on the beat. The song example of this in my beginners course would either be Chasing Cars from level two or from level one, Silence is Easy also uses this strumming pattern. So after this lesson, getting straight on to try those songs is going to give you maximum benefit of doing this because you've got that real life example. But what's happening here is we're essentially playing twice as many down strums, twice as fast as four on, on the beat. So twice as fast as one, two, three, four, and twice as many. But we have to importantly do this to account of one and two and three and four and. We can't do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because the, we have to know where fundamentally where the beat is to know the tempo of a song. So the tempo of the song, otherwise known as the BPM or beats per minute, is how fast or slow the pulse of the song is. And the pulse of that song is the beat. So here's the kind of tricky thing. More strumming can often mean that a song is actually slower. And this strumming pattern, as it says on your beat, is better for slower tempos. As a idea of slower tempos, 74 BPM to 110 BPM gives you a ballpark figure, though later on we might be increasing those as you get better. But as I say, the speed wise, silence is easy and chasing cards and also common people from level two um, gives you that idea. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And we're going to be hitting all of those with all downs. Ideally, you'll be going for this at level two of my beginner's course, for which we're going to be playing the A major chord, and we're going to play in the fashion that I have taught you in the chord lessons. So uh, let's go for just one bar of this eighth all down strumming pattern to a count of one and two and three and four and. In, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and stop there. Let's go for that one more time for those of you that missed it. In two, three, four, one and two and three and four and stop. So we have to let fly a little bit but we want to be doing all the correct hand motions which are pivoting from the elbow, keeping the wrist in close but still and trying to catch all the strings as evenly as possible and to an even tempo, making sure that all your strums are even. Let's go for this for two bars now, exactly the same as, that we, as we just did, but for two bars. In, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and again. One and two and three and four and stop. So that two bars is two counts of four, for which we've done this strumming pattern, which it's crucial that in your mind you can start to automatically count this beat. So you count where the pulses are, but we will be strumming a lot more than that, so it needs to be internalized. A great way to internalize that is by tapping your left foot if you're a right-handed player, because that sends the signals from your mind down to your feet, not only to your hands, but that really makes this strumming rhythm internalized. Um, Let's go finally for four bars of this A chord, and that will nail our strumming pattern for, uh, and that will nail strumming pattern number two from this course. So we're going to go for four bars of the A, eighth strumming, in two, three, four. One and two and three and four and two. Third bar. And fourth bar, two, three, four, and stop there. Let's try and do that without my counting now. Exactly the same, just without the count. Play along in two, three, four. And stop there. That's our four bars. 
it's really crucial that there is no emphasis any more or less on any one of those strums. They all need to be of an even volume. It's a higher level skill to put emphasis on certain ones and to miss certain strings and hit some strings at a certain time. And that's something that we don't want at this level because it needs to be controlled. And there are certain ways of doing those emphasis that would be further down this strand of um, this this strand from the sheet that we've gone for before. So when we're going down, so if you choose, you can now skip to strumming pattern number five, um, eighths all downs with accents, and start to learn how to strum some louder, because that's appropriate for this strumming pattern, because that's essentially going to be the next level up from this strumming pattern. But if you're still unsure and you're new to this and you've not done a song yet, I definitely recommend to do a song with this strumming pattern, which if you stick to my beginner's course is going to involve changing from the A chord to the D chord and keeping this strumming pattern going. So if you're a beginner, that's the first point of call. Learn a song, silence is easy, chasing cars or common people with this ape strumming pattern, which will generally use the change from a A chord to a D chord, but if you've been playing guitar and you've learned quite a few songs and you're a bit more experienced, you can get straight on to strumming pattern number five and start to put accents in this strumming pattern and that's going to sound really great. So join me for that lesson and I will see you over there real soon.